Hello everybody and welcome to another Flight Simulator tutorial video. I know it's been an extremely long time since I've released a video, but uh, as now it is the summer I will have some time to uh, start a new series and uh, kind of revamp the old series. And I thought I'd start this with uh, a kind of a requested video that I, I, I was hoping to get to in the past but I have not. Uh, and that is the topic of um, how to configure the autopilot and how to configure the airplane for an ILS approach and landing. Uh, so without further ado, here we go. All right. Uh, so I've already set up this uh, flight. It's right now the, the, the plane is sitting on uh, tarmac at the Toronto Pearson International Airport in Toronto, Canada, and the flight will be to Ottawa, and it should be roughly a 25 to 30 minute flight. Uh, this is an Airbus 321, keeping it simple for today. Uh, I was hoping to try out, um, the, to rather to uh, do the video on a, on a Payway airplane. Um, either the 747-400X or the MD-11 from PMDG uh, but uh, for simplicity's sakes I'm, I'm just going to use the default airplane so obviously this is not going to be uh, a flight using the uh, flight management computer it's just going to be run-of-the-mill IFR uh, uh, flight obviously with uh, just uh, the instructions from ATC and that's pretty much it. So let's dig right into it. So requesting IFR, uh, IFR clearance. Toronto clearance delivery, Airbus, Foxtrot, Mike, Sierra, Alpha, Bravo, IFR, Ottawa, ready to copy. Airbus, Foxtrot, Mike, Sierra, Alpha, Bravo, is cleared to Ottawa Airport, is filed, fly runway heading, climb and maintain 6,000. Departure frequency is 133.4, squad 0727. Airbus, Foxtrot, Mike, Sierra, okay, Alpha, so cleared Ottawa Airport as filed. Fly runway heading, climate maintain 6000. Departure on 133.4, squad 0727. Okay, Airbus, so Sierra, uh, Alpha, what uh, the Correct. information that we gathered from uh, ATC is... They told us to uh, fly the runway heading, um, then maintain 6,000 feet until uh, we're passed on to uh, probably Toronto Center. And uh, the departure frequency is uh, 133.4, and uh, we have to set our transponder to 0727. Uh, so once we contact ground and get our scheduled uh, uh, active runway, then what we'll do is we'll enter, and actually I'll do that now, rather than tell you about it. Toronto ground, Airbus, Foxtrot, Mike, Sierra, Alpha, Bravo, with Kilo, ready to taxi IFR. Airbus, Foxtrot, Mike, Sierra, Alpha, Bravo, taxi two and hold short of runway one five left in taxiway Alpha, Juliet, Alpha, Alpha, Golf, Bravo, Juliet, contact tower on one one eight point seven point red. Taxi hold short runway one five left. Taxiway Alpha Juliet Alpha Alpha Golf Bravo Juliet Airbus Sierra Alpha Bravo. Okay, so ground, now we got the kilo. scheduled run one one five left. Uh, so what we can do, um, we can now uh, configure our autopilot. So we do that by setting the initial speed to two hundred and fifty knots. Which is the regulation? Toronto ground, small, November uh, 1458, Charlie. Speed to maintain Wind under 10,000 feet in active North West America. Small, and November 1458, Our Charlie. runway Taxi is 15 left, left. One so we set our Taxi heading to 150. Contact tower on 118.35 when ready. Taxi to and hold short runway. And we're told that the initial right. altitude Taxi to maintain Kilo, is 6,000 feet. Small, five, eight, Charlie. Okay, so what we could do now is just uh, enable our f uh, flight director so that we get um, uh, 
uh, we get indication on our primary flight display. Okay, so the autopilot is pretty much initialized for what we need. And uh, there we go. Let's taxi to the runway. So obviously at first we do some uh, preliminary checks to make sure everything is uh, working fine. APU is off. Uh, fuel pumps should be on. And beacon is on. Nav and logo on. Taxi lights. And some belts. Okay. So we're climbing to 17,000 feet, uh, just took off about uh, two minutes ago, and we're on our way to Words, Ottawa. Um, what I'll do is I'll uh, go through some basic uh, kind of uh, steps to take when setting up for an ILS Alpha Bravo. Contact Toronto Center on 124.925. Okay, so basically what uh, Center, World Travel, one, what you should do when setting up for a line less approach. So as you're descending, you'll eventually get uh, vectors to the runway, which means tower will uh, will have you set up for an ILS approach. Um, uh, after which you will uh, capture the capture the localizer, which will uh, guide you to the runway. And eventually, you will be capturing the, gu the glide slope, which will uh, guide the airplane to the runway, to, to sorry, to the ground. Uh, so, what the localizer does is um, uh, takes care of the lateral navigation. So, basically, uh, left and right, and glide slope sets up for the for vertical navigation. So, your uh, downward descent your descent uh, when you have the two working together and lined up perfectly then you are perfectly lined up for a proper ILS approach um, and you know this if uh, on your screen here I'll zoom in to show you these two magenta dots bottom one indicating the localizer and the vertical, sorry, the horizontal one is the would be your localizer, and your vertical one would be your glide slope. So when these two magenta dots or uh, magenta, um, uh, what are they? Yeah, they kind of slanted squares. <laughs> uh, when these are perfectly lined up, so for for example, this one, the localizer is lined up in the middle, and same with the glide slope. Then you are on a, a perfect. Uh, and you're perfectly aligned for the approach, for the landing. So that takes care of how to read ILS. And obviously this mode you will enable when you're close to the runway, so you don't have your instruments cluttered. And this is important. The switch here will have to be set to navigation instead of GPS. I'm using GPS now so I can get uh, uh, BORs to my n uh, nearest waypoint, but now would probably be a good idea to Eight contact Toronto Delta Center Romeo. and contact actually get our on one, two, five, uh, point next two. directions, so we'll do that. Toronto Center, Airbus, Foxtrot, Mike, Sierra, Alpha, Bravo, is climbing to 15,900, for 17,000. Airbus, Foxtrot, Mike, Sierra, Alpha, Bravo, Toronto Center, Roger, altimeter 2, Niner, Niner, 1. Okay, there we go. Turn by heading one one five. 